Welcome to Cinema, the movie and television podcast show that talks about everything dirty, uh, mean, to my and nasty. It rubs the lotion on its skin in Hollywood and beyond. If it's sin, we're in. Hello, everybody. This is Brandon with Clipso Cigar Review and Cinema. I'm Randy with Cigar Clipso. <laughs> Whatever. Go ahead. No, no, we're good. No, we're, we're good. good. We're, we're good. gonna I'm start over. Or yeah. <laughs> I am exactly. nervous. I am nervous standing yeah, here with you, We're standing sir. with a legend. We've already done it. We've done the intro. I've made fun of you. Yes. And now, we now we can We talk. are here Continue. with horror legend it doesn't have to Tom be Savini. That's right. <laughs> How has this convention been for you, sir? How many years oh, have you been at this convention? I was at the very first one of these, so this is the 10-year anniversary, isn't it? It Excellent. is. It is. Yeah, I think yeah. I've only missed one or two. Yeah. Okay. That's fantastic. Um, you are a multifaceted talent. Actor, director, makeup. You okay. Yeah, <laughs> slightly for I, you. I'm yes. often wondering. I'm <laughs> often wondering. Um, how the hell? I mean, you, you mentioned uh, Jackie Chan is one of your inspirations for the uh, for the uh, the stunt side of things. Um, this was on IMDb. I don't know if that's true or not, but apparently, according to IMDb, you did. Is that true? I love, I love Jackie Chan. Yeah, I guess uh, him, Jackie Chan, uh, Yakim McKinnut, uh Joe Bonomo from the silent film days. All those stunt guys were inspirations, you know. Mm-hmm. You can't help but be inspired by the best that's out there, you exactly. know. For sure. And Jackie sure. Chan, I mean, that poor guy, does he have any bones that haven't been broken, you know? <laughs> Probably mostly plastic by now, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, well, maybe he's not the inspiration. No, to hell with him. He's too careless. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, he's Jackie Chan. Yeah. He is Jackie Chan, yeah. So, what inspired you to get into makeup? Now, you've had this question a million times, but our listeners may not saw, know the answer. I saw a movie called Man of a Thousand Faces. Yep. The story of Lon Chaney. Yes. Yeah. You're shaking your head. I've yes. seen you know it. I've seen it. Yes. Oh, okay. absolutely. Right. Totally know John Lon. Students come to my school. They don't know who Boris Karloff is. How do you not know who Boris Karloff is? Do some you? research. Exactly. If you're interested in makeup, you know, do right. some research. But uh, yeah, so uh, that in, that in, inspired me. I uh, that movie made me want to be one of the guys that creates the monsters. Mm-hmm. You know, so. And of course, I one of the monsters. I have a son named Lon after. Oh, Lon you Chaney. do after Lon That's Chaney. Awesome, yeah. That's cool. And First. he has a daughter named Chaney. That's awesome. awesome. That's awesome. People, but I'm afraid people are going to think it's Dick Cheney that she. Oh, God, no, no, no. God, no. God, no. Uh, of course, one of the famous faces he created was Jason in the first uh, Friday the 13th. Lon Chaney? No, you. Oh, me? Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Lon yes. Chaney wasn't in Friday the 13th. He no, had nothing to do with it. That's what confused me, yes. <laughs> and, I, and I love your reasoning for not doing the second one, is that there was no Jason and it shouldn't be a Jason. <laughs> Jason doesn't exist. <laughs> he was a kid that died in the first one. And instead, right. you went and made a movie with Jason Alexander when he had hair. Yeah, <laughs> he was burning. funny. He was funny. That's a great movie. It is yeah, a by great the way. Movie. He, was, he was funny even back then. He was always on, you know. But uh, I had a conversation with Betsy Palmer, the mother of Jason. Right. He says, "Oh no, we never found the body." Well, so what's that mean? He crawled out of the lake. He's disoriented. He doesn't know where the hell or who the hell he is. Right. And, w- he, and he lives there for thirty-five years, right. <laughs> eating crayfish, or so, and nobody sees this weird. Anyway, so I understand. Jason doesn't I, exist. I know you. You ruined all my Friday the Thirteenth love because of that statement. Because it made sense. You made me start thinking, and I didn't want to think. But you're, yeah. be, you're being trained to be stupid. Exactly. <laughs> so, so how did the night, night of the Living Dead come about? As far as you directing. The remake of that. How did that come into fruition? Well, I don't know how it happened. George just came to me one day and said, we're going to do a sequel to, uh, I mean, a remake of Night of the Living Dead. And I'm thinking, great, I get to make some more zombies. You know, he says, no, I want you to direct it. Doink. That's how it happened. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> just like that. I mean, they were involved in getting the finances and all that. I think all he could raise money on back then was, you know, that movie. Right. And, yeah. So Creep Show is one of my all-time faves. Um, love that movie. It was a departure for Romero. Very well Should done. We be somewhere smoking cigars yes. and doing this. Let's go do that. We really should. <laughs> We'd love to do that with you. We'd love to do that with. Go outside of the hotel tonight and try to smoke that cigar. Okay. We would be glad to do that with you. People will just keep coming, and it yeah, won't yeah. be. It won't be a. A solitary and won't be meditative. We yeah. we do have a cigar shop that we can close down for you if you want to have some private time and smoke a cigar. Just I don't saying. want to have to go all that. Yeah, <laughs> What's the name of the place again? Calypso Cigar Review. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Calypso yeah. Cigar Shop and Lounge. That's actually exactly. who we do it for. But I've exactly. uh, uh, been a big fan of yours for a long, long time, and I love that you're actually acting as well. I've uh-huh. been doing quite a bit of it. Um, what's been some of your favorite roles that you've done in the past? Well, how can you top Sex Machine? <laughs> yeah. There you, you know. Go. Yeah. 
But Parks of a Wildflower, I was in that. Yeah, uh, that is great a, in that. Yes, great. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, did you did you think what the hell is he doing in this movie? I was wondering. But, I was uh, happy to see you in it. No machine guns, no zombies. You know. So, yeah. yeah. Can I ask you a silly question? I don't ask this All often. All these questions I'm, have been silly. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Excellent. Okay, he mentioned Creep Show, and I was a huge Leslie Nielsen fan. What was it like working with Leslie Nielsen? Was, did you get oh, to work was, with him yeah, at all? He was hilarious, yeah. The only phone in the studio was in our workshop, uh -huh. so and he was on the phone a lot, so he would always be coming into our workshop. So I, of course, would ask him questions about Forbidden Planet, you know, and stuff like that. He said the guy inside Robbie the Robot was always drunk, <laughs> always <laughs> bumping into things and falling <laughs> over, you know. Uh, but that's about it. I mean, that's, he was really busy shooting the movie. Right. So, you know. Yeah. Well, that's cool. I just yeah. always wanted. You're the first oh, person I've met that it's not. He no, also no. had his fart machine. The fart there. machine. Yes, yeah. he was famous for the fart machine. And we didn't know where it was coming from. You know? <laughs> I mean, it was him, and he, that made us wonder: is he, <laughs> is he that? Is he? Is he that? What's the word for not being aware? Is he that unaware? Yeah. yeah but anyway, it was a, a great joke. You know? yeah. That's awesome. So you do smoke cigars and you smoke Puros Indios. When did your love of cigars start? And oh, I don't know. I got a catalog from Thompson Cigar a long time ago, you know, and ordered Puros. They're hard to get now. Yeah, they are getting hard to get, yeah. yeah. So what's up? What's your, would Puros be your favorite, basically? Is there any other ones that you oh, think of? Really. Yeah, I, well, you know, now that Cuba, we can go to Cuba. Mm -hmm. My daughter just went to uh, Cozumel and brought me back some uh, Havana co Cohibas. Okay, yeah. nice. But uh, I still like the Puros. You know, I, for, there's something about the, uh, the the skin, you know, the and mm -hmm. the taste. You know, yeah. Excellent, excellent. We all have our favorites. We do, we do. No, no reason to apologize for anything about that. Well, it has been a pleasure oh, talking yeah, to you, sir. Good luck with your show. No, Good thank you. Show. Thank you, sir. Appreciate Happy it. Happy cigars. Happy cigars Smoking. to you. All right. Thanks for the gift. You're welcome. Enjoy it.